Great. So we basically got the skeleton of our track recorded. And what I'm going to do next is record some automation, um, maybe make some fills, so we can see how this is all going to work out in the arrangement we've already created up here. So we're going to work with the synth lead pattern for this one. Now one thing I want to mention is we can record automation on any single pattern. One thing automation is helpful for is if you're creating a fill and maybe you want to have like a cutoff swell, which is what I'm going to use in this example, but have it happen at the end of a certain measure. So one thing you want to see here is this is a simple two bar, but pattern A is a four bar. So machine is actually going to follow the longest pattern in a scene, which right now is the four bar pattern. So you see the bar going across for four bars. If we come here and we double this, so let's actually double the pattern twice. So now the synth line is actually controlling the longest part. And you can see instantly this is stretched out much further. So what happens is here, coming around like seven, I want to actually have a swell of a cutoff come up. So we're just going to record this in. And to do that, we hold down F2, uh, which is the auto write on most machine controllers. And remember, I can fast forward, jump around the track with these buttons. really helpful tool this works with uh, if you want to extend something out you want it to last longer and then create like a nice transition um, right into the next thing so maybe if this was the chorus coming up we'd have a nice kind of swell and then the chorus would hit and would, you know be a nice variation like that same thing goes for the drum kit so maybe we actually want to have this doubled as well and then maybe you want to come in here oh I don't know let's um Let's zoom in a little. And what I'm going to do at the end here, I'm simply going to come in, select some of these, and we'll clear them out. And then maybe you want to add uh, actually the snare too. I'm going to add like a little snare roll or something. So now what this does is basically your pattern isn't going to be so static and especially you can have the normal pattern going but then you know extend it out. So if I didn't want to disrupt pattern 3 though I probably should have actually gone ahead and duplicated this pattern to be pattern 4 would be the fill. So I could always undo this or I can go back and uh, we can duplicate right now. Now pattern 3 and pattern 4 Pattern four, I'm going to call the fill. Same thing. We should have actually done it first. Um, duplicate the pattern and then go from there. So we can still do this after the fact. If you're performing, you know, you can always still go back and do whatever you want. This one I'll call cutoff, swell. And then on three, I can simply come back and change the pattern length to two bar loop without that swell. Now as we switch back, you're gonna see it's gonna come in and then also pattern A will have the snare fill on it. And there we go. So the transition can be made very easily like that. 
And again, for your cutoff animation or any kind of animation for that fact, everything is pretty much automatable. So even if we wanted to take that snare tune or something like that. We could have gone in 